Do you want your bearing spool to glide this smoothly and easily? Watch this video. Okay, in this video I'm going to go through how I uh, put together and build the single bearing um, filament spool frame versus the double bearing, which was my original design. It turned out that the bearing was just spinning on the spacer. When I made the spacer fat enough that it was tight, it would spin the bearing, it would bind because the back bearings were just a little bit off axis from each other. So. So I came up with a single bearing design. It works a lot smoother. So I'll go through how to uh, put together the single bearing design in this video. The only other thing that changed is the frame itself doesn't have these spacers in the inside. In the original design, we have these little spacers on the inside. And I took out the spacers and um, the spacers actually built into um, the design of the actual spool itself so that these split spacers make it so that it makes just a one millimeter space on the side to keep them from binding and the spacers come in two pieces so I'll go through that in this video. Now first thing I'll go over that these just just came off the printer so you can see that when I printed um, the supports in there this is what it looks like with the supports these will come out a lot easier because those integrated spacers aren't in there so that should actually clean up pretty those should clean up pretty easily the, the rings don't have any supports. You might have to clean them up with a little bit of uh, razor blade along the edges. But again, these are kind of a pain in the ass to um, take out the supports, but the supports are necessary to keep it um, you know, a nice smooth finish on the inside. So let's go through how I design, uh, how I uh, clean up these uh, supports. And I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this. As I fast forward through uh, taking off the supports, I'll let you know that I have printed the spools without supports and they actually printed pretty good as long as I did them at 0.15 layer height and I did a layer editing to the max throughout the entire spool. Um, I also did have to use supports in the frames because uh, it's such a big overhang so you definitely have to use supports there. The only other thing I did use was I used a, a two or three brim around the um, small split uh, split spacers because uh, they tended to come unstuck from the print bed. Okay, I have all the supports all cleaned up off of the frames and of the, sp of the spools. Let me just close in here on the, on the spool to show you how nice and clean that actually comes out. Um, so basically just clean it up with a knife and just a little uh, scuffing with the sandpaper on the outsides and it makes it nice and smooth. So I got all four of those done. I did a rough cleanup of the frame, make sure I cleaned out the holes on both the frames. And again, make sure you make sure when you when you when you put the frames on um, and print them, make sure you mirror one of them so that they um, are like this. So when they're when they're on the frame, they're going to be like that. That way you can put a spacer in between here and set the space exactly right. So. I got my two frames all cleaned up. I got my spools cleaned up. And the only other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need eight split spacers, four bearings this time, and four of these little rings. So uh, just remember four spools, four rings, eight split spacers, four 688 bearings, and then four five millimeter by 22 millimeter uh, um, bolts and let's go ahead and start putting it together so um, let's put this, each one of the spools together and I'll, I'll go through the first one slowly and I'll speed through the rest of them so you, as you can see inside the hole that the bearing goes deep inside so basically just take the bearing just like we did before and pop the bearing in there and it is nice and snug there we go I'm just going to use this to push it all the way in that makes pushes it all the way to the inside. Just put a little hammering on there so you can see the bearing is all the way in the inside. Then we are going to take we're going to take one of the spacers, one of these little ring spacers, and that kind of gets pressed in there. But you can't get it pressed in all the way, so you have to just kind of get it started, and then just take it with a mallet and and mallet it in there. So basically now that the bearing is pressed in there firmly and I have this extra ring in here to help make sure that the bearing stays in there. After you have um, the bearing and the spool, you just put on two split spacers. So you got this spacer here. This has some, uh, some flashing on it. I had to print it with a brim because uh, they kept unsticking from the bed. So 
Uh, as you can see here, I left the I left this brim on. There's no real reason to take it off. It's going to sit up against the frame, and it's just kind of tedious cutting off that kind of flashing. So basically, just take one of these spacers and they just press fit into the bearing. As you can kind of see, I'll show you a bearing close up here. It's basically got these little fan teeth on it to help press inside and makes it tight. So you just basically take in and, and you're pressing it in the bearing like that. So we'll stick one of these on each side and it presses in there. Again, you're just gonna wanna take a mount and make sure those are pressed in nice. And you see, ooh, that's, that glides so smoothly. Okay, good. So we just do that four more times. All right. Okay, as I'm fast forwarding through the uh, assembly of the single bearing spools, I'll let you know I did play around with um, taking apart the bearings and cleaning out the grease that comes with them and replacing it with a thinner oil that like you'd use for like a sewing machine. And oiling them with that, they do spin quite a bit uh, freer and easier uh, than with the grease that's in the bearing. Um, but it is a pain. you got to clean out the grease and then you have to replace it with a, a machine oil. Um, but it does spin quite a bit freer. Okay, just some final thoughts on the final um, video here on the uh, single bearing spools. Um, as you can see, I've got three spools up there. These are 65 millimeter white spools. They fit easily on there, so you know you can, you know, switch your spools back and forth nice and easy, and keep lots of spools ready to go. Um, as you can see, here's here's the uh, one of the split, uh, the single bearing spools with the uh, split spacers, but in these bearings, I took the grease out and I put in a really light oil in there instead, and this one just I mean it just glides so nice and easy. I mean it's a huge difference. This is a this is one that has uh, bearings in it, it's the single bearing spacers, but these still have grease in them, and they just don't, they just don't spin nearly as nicely. Um, so I would definitely maybe take the time and um, clean, take the rubber seals off, clean up the grease out of the bearings and put some machine oil if you want them to spin like that, and that thing really spins nicely. And that's it, that's the single bearing um, spool design. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in building this uh, filament spool holder with the single bearing design, I will have a link in the description to Thingiverse where I have the design um, to um, download the SDL files and print them on your own pr Prusa printer so that you can um, have your spools fly smoothly and easily. Thanks for uh, watching and if you liked it, like it. If you didn't, let me know and uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like that.